Okay, Olivia, this is part one of Westy Cut. Hopefully I can get the whole thing on maybe two to three parts. But I don't have any way to edit, so you guys gotta deal with me stopping and starting again. <laughs> <coughs> Olivia is a very, very good girl. She comes to me about once a month. She's a Westy. And we give her a Westy cut, but it is a pet trim instead of a show trim, and it's pretty short. So, what I normally start with is the face and sanitary first. I'm going to start with the face, and I just take it and gently take my clipper and scoop that hair out of the corner of the eyes with just the corner of my clipper. Okay. All right. I'll show you here up close what I did. If you can see that, I just took right here, just to, to, to the little stop here, in a short blade. You can also use thinning shears or scissors for this, but it's just quicker and easier for me to do it with clippers, usually. <laughs> okay. So, that was that. Now from there, I'm going to stand her up. Blades out of the way. Um, lift her little back leg up here. Take the same blade, which is a 10 or 15 blade, and very gently, without making too much contact with the skin, just get that excess hair off back in there. You don't want anything in there. It can cause infection or get matted or just get dirty in general. Lift this leg up back here and do the same thing on this side. Again, very gently and very lightly. Clean out a little bit to the tummy. Now, on the bum, usually they want to try and sit down because it tickles, feels funny. I wouldn't want it done to me either, but gotta be done when you got this much hair on your bum. So you just gently don't touch the skin at all here if you can at all help it. Just very gently go over, clip it short, so when they when they go to the bathroom they don't have a mess back there. Okay, now that's it for the sanitary trim and the face trim. Alright, now I'm going to show you how to do the ears. For the ears I use either a 30 blade or even a 40 blade sometimes and you just want to take the top, maybe a, a, a thumb's width on the very top of the ear, or not a thumb's width, but a, a thumbnail's width. So I take it, the direction the hair grows, which is up on the outside and the inside, starting at the same point. Gently run your finger along the back of the ear to keep it from catching the edge. To keep the ear flat, you're not going to cut it. Don't push very hard because this blade has a very, very big tendency to clip or burn the dog. So you don't want to push very hard at all. You just lightly glide over the ear. Okay? Alright. There's her ears. Now, I'm going to use the same blade, the 30 or the 40. I prefer a 40. Some people would rather use a 30. With the same blade, I'm going to get the inside of her paw pads. And I'm going to see if I can zoom in here. Oops, wrong way, sorry. <laughs> okay, probably not the closest, but if I go any further, I'll cut her foot off. Okay, just lightly take your blade. and get that hair that hangs over the pad that's going to cause them to slip on the hardwood floors and get muddy when they go out in the rain. You just clip that. Okay? Do it with this one as well. Try and get it at an angle you can see. Olivia is just like the best girl ever. She's so good for everything. And we'll turn her around a little bit and see if I can't get you to be able to see the front foot here. Okay. 
This stuff can be done before bath if you prefer. Um, I didn't do it before bath this time just because of time's sake. I wanted to get her through the tub and get her ready for it so I could just do it all at once. So, that is basically how you do feet. So, I'm going to get off here now so I can put this on YouTube.